ับหนูปาวาลอกมาโยไอฮับหนูปาวาลอกมาโยไอกองเฟเมื่อเจ้าเปิดสิ่งของพระองค์ที่เจ้าเปิดสิ่งของพระองค์ที่เจ้าเปิดสิ่งของพระองค์ที่เจ้าเปิดสิ่งของพระองค์ที่เจ
within themselves, he said unto them, Why so reason ye this things in your heart? Whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed and go thy way into thy house. And immediately he, ro he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. Praise the Lord. So now when we are looking at the issue about the healing power of God. Then we were looking at what can facilitate this in the life of uh, those that are believers in Christ Jesus. We are going to take note that because of the foreign nature of man in the Garden of Eden, the tripartite personality that make up man spirit, soul and body they became corrupted they became, they became contaminated they became dead and so as a result of that deadness it became God's own great concern that this tripartite personality of man we receive healing. That the, the, the spirits will receive healing. The soul will receive healing. The physical body will receive healing. Because we know that uh, all this, this the, the, the sickness of the spirit, soul, and body is a result of uh, the, the penalty for sin that started in the Garden of Eden. And we know that devil is contending with that plan, the plan that man will be here. And our joy here is that uh, something happened, that because of uh, the love of God unto all mankind, God has uh, seven plans for man. And these seven plans surely must come in form of a uh, seven love that will come unto man and that is only through Jesus Christ. And so, God through Jesus Christ has provided the glorious healing as one of the inheritance for every believer. So, and for man to receive this healing, there must be something man has to do. And it has to do with uh, the living faith in Christ Jesus. Because Jesus Christ, he came. God made him to be the sin. God made Jesus Christ to be the sin. God allowed Jesus Christ to take the place of our condemnation because sin made man to become condemned. But because of the provision God has made, even before Jesus Christ came, Jesus came, taking the place of our condemnation means that there must be a price that somebody will pay for man to receive healing. For the healing power to be released unto man, then Jesus has to suffer, he had to come and pay the price by going to the cross. So that going to the cross, the man who has become enemy to God, that even when we are enemy by the plan of God, that through Jesus Christ, we, we are reconciled to God by the death of Jesus. And much more, than being reconciled, that we shall be saved 
by the life of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. And so we know that that Jesus Christ who came, the healing power is in him. And not only that healing power is in him, Jesus Christ is in whom we have that living faith. And the life of Jesus that we receive has given us salvation, which is the, the saving of the spirit of man, because that's the first thing that we, that we receive healing in a man, in the three party that we are corrupted, that we are dead from what happened in the Garden of Eden. So by receiving the life of Jesus, as we give our natural life, then that has given us salvation. And that's the first healing that's called the recreation, recreating the spirit of man. And that's when we are healing started. Praise the Lord somebody. I said, praise the Lord somebody. So our concentration will be on the issue about the sickness, the sickness of the spirit, the sickness of the soul, and the sickness of the body. Because sin separated man from God, and that separation caused man to remain under spiritual death. Spiritual death. And that's what has happened. That as, as we receive the life of Jesus, the eternal life, there has been reconciliation. There has been healing. Somebody here this morning, receive healing in your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, and we know that this is a, the great will of God, that a man will be here. The tripartite, the tripartite of personality of man will receive healing. And so, in so doing, Jesus' redemptive work on the cross of Calvary has given us the totality of uh, this healing because as he went to the cross for your sin of my, of my, and my sin, Jesus Christ, he dethroned Satan, who is the author of sin. Because sin is a satanic indwelling nature. That is sin. But Jesus going to the cross, dethroned the devil, and made him and his cohort permanent defeated enemies. Praise the Lord. And on the cross, it became great for what had happened there. Jesus shed his blood. And the blood of Jesus that shed him on the cross is a mystery. The content of the blood of Jesus is a mystery because the blood of Jesus has two major compositions. One is the supernatural power. Then secondly, it's a life, which is eternal life, the life of Jesus. And with this, as Jesus uses to pay price for us, it becomes a weapon that God has released to all believers in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord, somebody. And so, and we, and we know it, that even before Christ went to the cross, it became a mystery, not known to any being. Only the Godhead was aware of the supernatural power in the blood of Jesus. So many that are believers, that are, that are children of God, they don't know the efficacy, the potency in the blood of Jesus. Especially in the area of healing. The hidden power in the blood of Jesus. We are lacking it today because people take that for liberty. If you see people, they mention blood of Jesus anyhow. But I'm telling you today that uh, that God's healing power that is the blood of Jesus is still available to those that believe. Praise the Lord. And it's only 
when we have the knowledge of the word of God, that we know what we have in Christ Jesus. Studying the word of God, that the Bible says that the Holy Spirit uh, scriptures it make us to become wise unto salvation. He said, through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. The faith for us to receive healing can only be found when we have when we have our faith in Christ Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior for what He did on the cross of Calvary. And so we look at it that this healing power of God, God made it to be located in three areas. One is in the name of Jesus. The name that he said that is exalted above every other name. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. And as secondary, we have the power, the healing power, that God has hidden in the word of God. In the word of God, where he has given us promises concerning the healing power. That even before Jesus Christ came, it has it manifested as a prophetic declaration. In Psalm 107, verse 20. And he says that God sent his word that he led us and delivered us from all the destruction that the devil has planned for us. Praise the Lord. And so, totally, and that is where that uh, we need to have our concentration on it is in the blood of Jesus Christ. The healing power in the blood of Jesus Christ, it has affected the life of so many that believe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell you the truth. At a particular point, somebody that I have already confirmed, even by Mercure, that the two kidneys have failed and have made all arrangements, even paid the ticket with the airline that we take to, to, to India for them to make a transplanting of the kidney. And also the, the kidney donor have been paid part of the money for donating his kidney to that particular sister. Praise the Lord. Tuesday, before they will depart, because they are, they're supposed to depart on Friday, then the brother to that woman called me because uh, she was brought for an child and was asking me, he said, please, if you can come and pray to my sister before leaving to India. Because they were afraid that even after transplanting the kidney, nobody is sure that that kidney will sustain her. And as God remains the one who has the healing power, I call my friend that we should go to healing field at Ajawa State to meet the sister. As we reach there, we have to now depend on the truth of the word of God. We are the healing power in the word of God and the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus manifested great dream. As the prayer was going on, the power of God by the spoken word from the scripture that is the rema. Because when the word of God is spoken, that is go, it goes out to be life and spirit. It is called rema. He went into that woman. Brethren, do you know what happened? The person who could not be able to rise on the bed, that always, for every moment, she will be helped even to sit down to take food. The power of God begins to transform her body, her kidney. When we pray the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit release the supernatural power in the blood of Jesus Christ into her kidneys. Then the life that is in blood of Jesus, that eternal life, begin to now release new life into the dead cell because 
some part of kidney have become dead. That the two kidney have become dead. The life, Holy Spirit quicken the mortal body. And that is why the Bible said that uh, if the spirit of he who raised Joseph from the dead is in us, that he that raised Jesus Christ from the dead will quicken our mortal body. The kidneys were quickened. Somebody who could not be walking on Friday, when they went to the airport, because it was very difficult for them to not consider how she will walk in the tarmac before entering the aircraft. But as she reached the airport, the woman was walking majestically on her own as if nothing happened. <laughs> praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. That is the healing power of God. Supernatural that never consider the power of darkness that has already be dethroned on the cross of Calvary. And so, we acted that way, I and my colleague, because the Lord has given us the mandate to exercise authority. Let somebody say authority. Say authority. The authority that Jesus Christ said that all authority has been given unto me. Both the one in heaven, here on earth, even beneath the earth, that authority has bestowed unto us as believers. And as God graciously released the provision of that unto us, it becomes our responsibility to exercise that authority. And so, uh, by this reason, I declare this morning that anyone that is under affliction of the enemy, whether in the spirit, whether in your soul, whether in your body, by the risen power, by the resurrection power that raised your sky from the dead, I declare you here in the name of Jesus. I say, I declare you here in the name of Jesus. This supernatural power, nobody can stop it. It has become our entitlement. And we receive it when we believe. God is looking for the living faith. Can you have that living faith? There is nowhere the enemy can subdue us because Satan has no jurisdiction over our life any longer. Only if we're given the chance, if, only if we're given access, then he will not be doing the exploits. It's our responsibility to do great exploits. You will do great exploits in your time, in your season, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we be on our feet? Power from above. The earliest power from above. Power from above. The earliest power from above. I believe I had received the power from above. I believe I received the power from above. Heavenly, I receive the power of the I believe, I believe, I receive the power from my bow. Father, because we come unto you this morning with confidence and trust. With a living friend in Christ Jesus. And that grace you made to be abundance unto us the very day that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Father, we are asking in the name of Jesus. As many that are here under the satanic bondage, 
We yeah, ask God. in the name of Jesus that the bondage be loose and be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. That every captivity be destroyed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Any person that is having sickness or disease in your organs and system, I plead the blood of Jesus upon that your organ. I plead the blood of Jesus upon that your system. By that supernatural power in the blood of Jesus, receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that the Father will be glorified in Son Jesus Christ. That will be set free and be free in daily. But we pray in Jesus' name. Can we do something to our Lord Jesus Christ? I believe I receive the power from my bow. I believe I receive the power from my bow. There is power in the blood. Oh, there is power in the blood. We give him all the praise, we give him all the glory. There is power from my bow. I believe I receive the power from my bow. 